Hey guys, uh, this is a very impromptu Target haul because I was not planning on going to Target <laughs> and I had a little bit of time between my Pilates class and meeting my mom for lunch today. So I thought, let me just kill some time at Target. I didn't need anything, but here we are. Um, but I did get some fun stuff that I wanted to show you guys. Um, oh, okay. Firstly, look at this toy that I got from Miss Butters. So it's a bark, like bark box bark toy for super chewers, which she is, but they always default to these like medium large size toys because most super chewers are like large dogs, aside from Miss Butters. So this has, um, like this fuzzy part actually rips off and then this is kind of like the super chewer toy underneath. So they call this like a something and reveal, like rip, oh here, rip and reveal toy. So yeah, she'll go at the outside of this until she just literally tears it apart and she rips it off and then she exposes uh, the toy underneath. So I thought that was a lot of fun. And look at little Totoro. I love, love, love this little character. So got her that and then I also got her Look at these, these doggy dental treats. They're like Hello Kitty. <laughs> I checked the back, the fat content is good because uh, she has pancreatitis issues or she's, she's had pancreatitis issues in the past. I think we're in the clear. But anyway, there's like a Hello Kitty like stamped in the middle of each treat. So I had to get her that. I just thought that was super cute. And then a lot of this is kind of boring, I won't bother you with, but I did pick up some Stumptown coffee. I was surprised to see Stumptown at Target, but there it was, so I got it. And then, oh, I got these pants. They're elastic waisted, which you know I'm a big fan of. <laughs> Who isn't? Um, but I've been looking for comfy pants that have pockets. So whenever I um, walk butters or whatever, and if I don't have pockets, it just ends up being a mess, basically. So I'm excited to try these out. They have like a zipper back pocket. Again, front pockets here. And it's like one of those wicking, like workout materials. This was like in their workout clothing section. So I thought I would give it a shot. Here is the, I don't know. Do they have information? Here's the information. So the pricing and SKU numbers, anything. If I can find it online, I will link to it down below. But the style is called the high rise wide leg pant. That sounds right up my alley. Um, so I got those and they did have some other colors and I figured if I like the way this fits, um, I may go back and get, they had like an olive -y, like army green color, which you guys know I love. Um, and then that's just dishwashing detergent, that's unexciting. And then, oh, I got a sketchbook, so I don't know if you guys know this, but I do really enjoy drawing and I, I just haven't, I haven't done it in a while. And I was listening to some podcasts. They were talking about like what brings you joy and you know, as much as I love doing what I do, like vlogging with you guys, creating my videos, makeup and everything that's, it's like work now. And so while it definitely brings me joy, it doesn't, it doesn't always bring me joy. <laughs> it doesn't always bring me joy. Um, and I, you know, had to sit with myself and think back to like, okay, like 10 years ago before I did this, like what, what did I sit down and do? And I used to love to sketch. So I got a new sketchbook. Um, I also, I couldn't resist. I got a notebook. I have a ton of notebooks. I did not need this, but here, let me show it to you. It's, it's like a flip up and down kind of notebook, which I actually find like much handier and each of the pages is perforated. So I thought that was really cute. And then um, the dating, and I never know what to call it, but it's like the anniversary where my husband and I went on our first date. That anniversary is coming up. And so we like to celebrate this one more than our wedding one. It's, I don't know, I feel like it's more meaningful. Um, so I picked up a card for him and you guys know how much I love bears. Is that focusing? Yeah. It says, love you, honey. The honey bear. And then inside it says, you make life sweeter. Aw, isn't that cute? My husband is very corny, so he will appreciate that. So speaking of joy, this was another thing that I used to love to do that I just haven't done it in a long time. 
And it's never been easy for me to do this, which I'll show you in just a second, because it takes up a lot of room and you don't, at least I don't usually do it, like finish it in one day or one night. Um, so it takes up an entire table. Uh, so it's puzzles. I, <laughs> I love jigsaw puzzles. And I think the last time I picked up a jigsaw puzzle was when I first moved here to Vegas and I like completely commandeered uh, and monopolized our kitchen table for like a couple of weeks. And I think I eventually finished it. I can't even remember. I think I eventually finished it. Um, and my husband's like the most patient man in the entire world. So he didn't care. We just sort of like ate around it or whatever. Um, but now I actually have our dining room table, which we don't really use uh, on the regular. And so I thought, let me get some puzzles because I can just set up on the dining room table and I don't have to worry about it. So look at this one. How funny is this? This is from Exploding Kittens. The Slothness of Memory. So it's these sloth... <laughs> you guys know that Dolly painting, right? With all the like, uh, like clock faces that are like melting. <laughs> I just thought this was so funny. Look at this guy. <laughs> so I got that and then I got one that, I don't know, maybe my husband would be interested in helping me out with, but it's just one that looks like a, a Batman comic cover. So I thought that would be fun. So I got those and then is there really anything else? I did get some stuff for the guest room. So um, in my last vlog, uh, you saw my guest room glow up and I do have that kind of blue, navy blue uh, theme to it with the, you know, the lamps and everything. And so I ended up getting just a couple more pieces of decor for that room. So that bathroom, um, I only have one bath mat for it for some bizarre reason and it's in front of the shower, but I don't have a bath mat in front of the sink. And this is like the closest one I could find. So it's just navy blue, it's pretty big. It's like a memory foam, a memory foam one. And it's got those big nubs. The one that I have up there, it has big nubs, but it's, uh, the nubs are like a little bit longer. So it looks a little bit shaggier. Um, I actually think I prefer this more. So um, I got this to put in front of the sink. And then I picked up this round mirror, which I thought I would hang just centered over the bed. Um, I figured that would be nice because that whole wall, well, every wall, almost every wall in this place is blank except for like TVs, but I don't actually have any artwork hanging up yet. It's a, it's a really, I don't know what it is about me. I, I have a really hard time just nailing something into the wall. Um, so maybe this will be the very first thing that goes up. So anyway, it's, let's see, 15, it's a 40 centimeter in diameter um, wall mirror. And it's from Hearth and Hand. Again, I'll try and remember to, to link to all this stuff down below in my description box if you're interested, but um, that's basically the highlight of my, or the highlights of my um, Target haul. Um, yeah, all of this stuff I wasn't expecting. I mean, I guess Target does that, doesn't it? You walk in with zero expectations and you walk out with a lot of random stuff. Um, so anyway, I wasn't even planning on vlogging today, but I thought, let me show, let me show everyone what I got. Cause it's always, it's always fun to go through other people's shopping bags. So I went to Pilates today, um, after not being able to go for a little while, because in my last vlog, I talked about how I had, um, or have been suffering from vertigo from like being on the verge of getting full blown vertigo and, um, Pilates if you're um, unaware, you're on your back a lot and sometimes you're on your side and sometimes there's whatever. Anyway, it's not, it's not the best thing <laughs> if you have vertigo to be laying down and getting up and laying down and getting up. So at least not for me. Uh, so I didn't go for um, probably a, a week. Um, I didn't go and uh, she took it easy on me. Thank goodness, because I just knew it was gonna be tough coming back, but that felt good. That was a really good workout. And then I went to Target and then I met my mom for lunch. We went to Cheesecake Factory, which I haven't been to in a gazillion years, but they actually had some decent things on the menu that I could eat. So they have this skinny licious menu, <laughs> which is, you know, smaller portions and like uh, less carbs and things like that. So my mom got a lemon and garlic shrimp dish and I got a grilled salmon. Uh, which was perfect. I just had the salmon. It came with some vegetables. My mom took that home in a little doggy bag. Um, but yeah, I'm still going strong with carnivore, which has been great. Like I feel 
great. Like this morning is the first morning I woke up with zero dizziness, zero like tension in the back of my head. Um, yeah, I can already tell like my sinuses are less inflamed. You know, I can feel it. I feel like I'm just breathing a lot more easily. And, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's carnivore. I wouldn't be surprised if it was um, carnivore. It could just be one contributing factor to everything that's going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been doing carnivore. I've been back on carnivore, I should say, for I think today will be my fifth day. I've lost track. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I woke up this morning feeling like a different person. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. Um, I just took out some ground beef for dinner. I'm like, yes. I just have to keep reminding myself like why I do carnivore, why I do elimination diets. It just, yeah, I just feel like a thousand times better <laughs> when I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, so that's the quick update from here. I'm gonna go, I need to do a little bit of work, um, but I'll be back, I don't know if I'll be back today. I don't have that much going on. Like I said, I wasn't planning on um, vlogging. I just had um, these goodies to share with you, but I'll see you very soon. All right, so this is how much I've done with the puzzle. Um, I have to take a break because it is just about dinner time, um, but I basically did all the easy parts, you know, the things with actual pictures on them. And the hard part I'm realizing are all the sloths because they're all like the same color. So anyway, just wanted to show you my progress. <laughs> Hopefully I'll finish this tomorrow. Maybe I'll finish this tomorrow because yeah, tonight I won't have time to do it. Um, but yeah, oh my God, I love these sloths. I get so happy every time I see like a piece with a face on it. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> so silly. Oh my God, I finished my puzzle today. <laughs> um, I came pretty close to finishing it over my lunch break and then I came back and finished it uh, right before starting dinner. So here's my exploding kittens. Here's the box again. <laughs> the exploding kittens, the slothness of memory. Oh my God. Cracking up. My husband was like taking a really close look at this. He was like, oh my God. <laughs> we were like slow as molasses. <laughs> we were really giggling over this, over this puzzle. So I filmed today, I filmed the Pat McGrath duos video and I really do like these blushes. I say all this in the video. Um, I just don't think they blend out that easily, but once you do blend them out, which takes a little bit of work. <laughs> but once you do blend them out, they are really, really pretty. This one's at, well, which one is this one? This is the one that I ended with. Yeah, I think my favorite one, Paradise Glow. Anyway, how are you guys? It's been a longish kind of day. My vertigo still has not come back, so I'm just, just so, so pleased. <laughs> so pleased, so happy. I did get some fun PR today. Let's, let's go through this. Um, hold on one second, I need to put you on a higher tripod. So I got this box from Suwasu. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Okay, Time Treasure Honor Stige Cream, Time Treasure Honor Stige Serum. Oh, good gracious, 800 bucks each. This limited edition Time Treasure Serum and Cream Duo are highly effective targeted formulas Fortify with the anti-aging power of Rishi, also known as the Mushroom of Immortality. Wow. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. My oh, goodness. Ooh, look at this beautiful jar. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm not going to, like open it up because I don't want to expose it to air just yet. I'm not ready to use it, but wow, this presentation is incredible. So that's the cream. And then here is the serum. And here is the serum. This I can pump. Ooh, super silky. Wow. It's like super silky and it's like absorbed right into my skin. Wow. 
the scent of it smells familiar, but I can't, mm, I can't place it. Oh, what does that smell? Anyway, it smells fine. It doesn't smell bad or anything. Um, 40 mils, 1.35 fluid ounces. Wow. Thank you so, so much, Silvestu. Here are some ingredients. Here are some ingredients if you guys want to take a screenshot or something. So that's the serum, and then here it is for the cream. Wow, well that is incredible. Thank you, Soasu. That is so great. I also got this fun bag from Shantakai. <laughs> Look, it's one of those like plastic woven bags that are so cool. Um, so they sent over a selection of their favorite like summer essentials, two of which are SPF products. And you guys know how much I love their ultra sun protection, sunscreen, SPF 45 primer. Love this, can always use a backup of this. And then they also sent their Sea Screen 30, which is um, a mineral-based spray. And it is like reef safe and all of that. It's 100%, well, active ingredients. It's 100% uh, zinc oxide in terms of sunscreen. There's obviously a lot of other ingredients in here. Um, I have a bottle of this going, actually, and I do like using it on my arms. And again, it's SPF 30. So that is one of their awesome products. And then they also sent their orange water flower uh, spray. And this is something that uh, they really recommend kind of like using to like refresh your skin. When it's hot, it's very cooling, it's very nourishing, it's very refreshing. Um, and I do have a bottle of this as well. So another amazing product to have as a backup. A huge, huge, huge thank you to Shantakai for this. This is so, cute oh wait here's the tag so cute and the last PR box I got today was something that I was so so excited to receive so May Lindstrom skin they reached out to me on Instagram and they asked for my uh, mailing address and you know May herself wrote this really beautiful note to me and I was like beside myself with Joy. I, I just couldn't believe it. She's one of the very, very, very first sort of luxury, organic, um, handmade, hand poured like skincare lines I got really into. And actually, um, I had seen them, I think, at Barney's. <laughs> I feel like all roads lead back to Barney's. Um, but I think I saw them at Barney's, if I remember correctly. Actually, it could have been Beautylish. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I kind of saw the brand. And I was like, oh, you know, it looks interesting. The bottle, the packaging was beautiful, all of that, but I really liked um, the products that they had. And then I saw Tati Westbrook, I mean, a gazillion years ago in one of her like WTF Wednesdays. Do you remember when she did those videos and she talked about something really expensive? She talked about one of the May Lindstrom products. I can't even remember what she said about it, but I was like, oh my God, Tati Westbrook is talking about May Lindstrom. And I went out and I got a couple of things two yes two products that i really really enjoyed the blue cocoon and if you guys know may lindstrom you know what i'm talking about the blue cocoon uh which is this balm that's really really soothing and since you know again i have i have eczema i've suffered from eczema whatever i that sounded great to me and then i got the honey mud mask which i really liked to use um not that it's like a like a typical mud mask that's really drying um, but because I have such dry skin, I just used it like around my nose or whatever, just during the oilier times of the month. You guys know what I'm talking about. And I would always kind of break out around my nose. And again, this was years ago, so I was much younger and I, I broke out a lot more. Um, but anyway, when she reached out to me, I just, I was like beyond thrilled, thrilled. I was like, you can send me eggs. She was like, oh, you know, let me know um, what I can send you a selection. Just please. Let I was like, whatever, like whatever you want to send me is fine by me. So the box has arrived. I figured I would open this up with you guys. Okay. So it says the moment is yours. This was sitting right on top. Oh, a card. Let's see. This love is intimate. Lean in. Love me. Oh, Okay, oh, a booklet, I guess, about all of her skincare products. And is there a picture of Maine here? Yeah, there she is. All right, so 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have the Honey Mud, the Blue Cocoon, which again, I am familiar with. The Clean Dirt, I think this is what Tati talked about in that video from like, I don't know, five or six years ago. Yeah, so every two to three days activate what? Yes, yes, yes. This was what, <laughs> this is what Tati used. Oh, I'm so, so excited. So I think, yeah, this is something that I would probably, it says every two to three days. I would say every one to two days for me, only because again, I have such, you know, sensitive, uh, dry skin. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this. It's a brightening facial exfoliant treatment. Did I even tell you that? <laughs> That's what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna start out. I'll just use it once, see what happens with my sensitive skin. Of course, I will report back. And then we've got the Youth Dew, which is uh, the Balancing Facial Serum. I think this is gonna be perfect for my skin. Beautiful. And then, the Blue Cocoon, which comes in a nice jar. The Honey Mud, which also comes in a nice jar. The Honey Mud is like one of the most incredible smelling products, the texture of it. I mean, it really is like good enough to eat. <laughs> it's incredible. Um, and then, oh she, threw in, oh, she threw in some samples. Let's see. Okay, we've got the Happy Galaxy, I wonder what that is, and then the Jasmine Garden. Um, okay, so the Happy Galaxy is body oil. Okay, excellent. And then the Jasmine Garden. Ooh, it's a facial mist. Ooh, 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 awesome. Oh, and they put in a little spray. Oh, this is so incredible. Oh, I'm so excited for this. A huge, huge, huge thank you to Mae Lindstrom for this like intro box. I'm gonna be using this stuff tonight. I cannot wait. But right now, I think I need to help my husband with um, with dinner. We are actually grilling outside. It is a cool 99 degrees here in Vegas. Anything under 100, I'm like, yes, it's 99 degrees. I'll take it. Um, yeah, and so we're grilling outside, and I think he needs a little bit of assistance. So I'm gonna do that, eat some dinner, and if I end up using these products tonight, I will definitely take you along with me. Good morning. I did not use any of the May Lindstrom <laughs> stuff from last night. I actually fell asleep on the couch and then just kind of like crawled upstairs, did a quick wash of my face and left all the May Lindstrom stuff downstairs. Um, my husband and I were watching the Doctor Strange multiverse movie that was one of the movies that we were like thinking about going to the theaters to see but it came out right at that time where like things were still a little sketchy <laughs> regarding covid um anyway so it was just released on disney plus and that's what we watched last night that's what we did um so i am going to get ready for the day i've got to film a couple of videos today uh, so i'm going to get ready and i'm going to use I think what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna use the honey mud just yet. I don't feel like my skin is that oily at the moment, but I definitely wanna try the Clean Dirt because this is a product that I have not tried yet. And um, the May Lindstrom team is so sweet. They actually sent me a really long, detailed email about how they recommend using uh, these products. And this Clean Dirt is like a powder that you need to mix with water. She recommends using a bowl at first until you get used to it. I'm making my way upstairs and just sort of collecting as much as I can to bring upstairs because I just, I end up leaving so much stuff down, downstairs. Like these pants I bought at Target, they've just been hanging over my kitchen stool forever. But I collected these two things um, that I got in PR. I didn't show you guys. So I thought I would show you now from Necessaire, the body serum and the body lotion. Um, my husband and I both just finished a tube of the body lotion. So this came at the perfect time and this one is fragrance free. I, th I was using, I think bergamot, my husband was using fragrance free. We both love, love, love this body lotion. It's just so like, it's just so good. It's like really, really no fuss. It's not too light, it's not too thick. It's just a great like all over quick lotion. I absolutely love it. And the body serum is great if I am feeling a little bit on the drier side, which is more often than not, I will put the serum on first and then put lotion on top of it. Much like my face. I'm trying to like treat my body skin more like my face skin because it's all skin. Anyway, I'm gonna bring this upstairs. I have so much 
crap. I also got a cleansing oil from Bobbi Brown. I'm gonna bring that upstairs. And then I got, I'm assuming this is for hair because it's from Kerastase, but look at it for Pride. Look at that beautiful box, so much fun. This is, I believe, just a hair oil. Versatile beautifying oil for dull hair, yeah. So I'm gonna bring that upstairs so much. And I'm using my little Shantikai, my little Shantikai baggie here. All right, so I'm gonna put the clean dirt on before I get in the shower. That's how it was recommended to me. So you have to mix equal parts of this clean dirt powder with some water. Of course, I forgot to bring up a bowl even after saying that, how annoying. I'm gonna try it with my hand. We'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, so you're supposed to then like, can you know, just apply it all over your face and then you're supposed to let it sit. And so I think once I get it all over my face, I'm gonna hop into the shower I'm gonna rinse it off and then they said to kind of like rinse it off like actively don't just like run your face under the the water but like really kind of like rub it in and continue to kind of keep like lightly exfoliating your skin with whatever leftover product is on there uh so that's what i'm going to try all right so this is again what the bottle looks like they said about a teaspoon so about a teaspoon of this and about a teaspoon of water so i am just kind of eyeballing it Got about, I've got about that much. Ooh, you hear that? It's like foaming. All right, I'm gonna hop in the shower now. Clean dirt has been used. Wow, my skin feels like well, let me, let me preface all of, <laughs> all of this by saying I do have really dry, sensitive skin. It's eczema prone. And a lot of times I can't use like enzyme or like acid types of exfoliation products. I have to use physical uh, exfoliators. And so that always leaves my skin feeling very, very different. It's almost, um, you know, it's a little bit rougher, of course, depending on like the granules and stuff that you're using. But anyway, this is like a different kind of soft and smooth kind of feeling versus a physical exfoliator. So anyway, so far so good. And my skin does feel really, that's the difference. Uh, sorry. Um, when I use like physical exfoliators, I feel like just the texture of my skin is really, really soft and smooth. Um, but with this, I feel like my skin is really clean. It feels really, really clean and like uncongested. So I was getting crazy. I was thinking maybe I'll use the new Sawasu serum and the new Sawasu cream that they sent over, but I probably shouldn't, shouldn't use too many new products at the same time because if my skin does get irritated, I won't know what's from. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go about my, my regular like skincare routine. I'm gonna use my droplet. I've been using that Tranexamic eraser capsule in my droplet. And then I'm gonna use um, this newish serum. So I've been testing out this serum. This is from Beauty Pie. It's called Youth Bomb 360 degree facelift serum. And uh, so yeah, I was done with, or I am done with uh, my Dr. Barber Storm Hyaluronic Serum. These serums are very different. The Hyaluronic Serum definitely like plumped up my skin. I felt like, um, yeah, I felt like my skin was like super, super hydrated and moisturized. This makes my skin really like kind of glowy and um, yeah, I guess lifting is a really good firm lift and tighten visibly softens lines and wrinkles, uh, boosts radiance and enhanced luminosity. I would say for me, what I'm noticing the most is the boosting radiance and enhancing luminosity and a little bit of lifting. I feel like those few things are kind of together. Like the lifting is kind of like making my skin like a little bit more, I don't know, just like luminous in a way. Does that make sense? Anyway, I've been testing that out. It's been, it's been very, very nice, but very different from the Dr. Barber Star. So anyway, I'm just gonna go about uh, my skincare business starting with the droplets and, and get to filming. Yeah, I've got, I've got to film at least two videos today. Well, I had a super, super productive day. I filmed two videos and I edited both of them. I haven't done that in a while. I haven't done that in a while, so I think, yeah, I think I'm feeling really good post like vertigo trauma. <laughs>
I'm feeling like, oh my God, I don't have that headache. I can do all the things in the world. It's actually pretty eye-opening thinking back to, you know, having those issues. Um, and, you know, it was like I did what I needed to do that day, but that was it. I would like immediately go lay down in bed or whatever afterwards. And it's, you know, I forget how debilitating it is. I forget until I'm not debilitated how debilitating it is. And now I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Look at all this work I can do. <laughs> so anyway, filmed two videos, edited them, feeling good about it. Um, I am really, really loving how my how like smooth my skin feels after that clean dirt. And like I've mentioned, um, enzymatic uh, exfoliants or you know kind of acid, no matter how natural the acid is, um, exfoliants don't usually work for my skin. But so far, my skin is feeling great. So that definitely is a product, you know, I'm, I'm gonna ease into it. I'm gonna be smart and not <laughs> crazy about it. Um, they recommend two to three times a week. I'm gonna stick with like one to two. I'll probably start with one and then move to two. Just take it slow. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving how clean my skin feels and how smooth, how smooth it is. So the makeup look I have on is my favorites. So I did film my June favorites video. I cannot get over that Kierweiss, the beautiful tint. It just, it just works for me. It works so well. Look at this like beautiful glow. I look a little bit shiny over here, probably because I went a little bit crazy with some, with some highlighter. Um, but yeah, it just, just looks great. It just looks so seamless on my skin. Anyway, okay, I am done with work. What should I do? I think, I think my husband and I are making chicken. We're gonna barbecue chicken thighs for dinner. And I think what I'm gonna do is put my sloth puzzle away. <laughs> and I think my husband's doing laundry, so I'll let him continue doing laundry. Um, and maybe I'll start on that um, DC Comics puzzle. That one's gonna take me a lot longer. It's a thousand pieces and it's just gonna be hard. That entire illustration looks like completely repetitive. Like it's not gonna be easy to seg out what goes where, so. We'll see, we'll see if I can even do it. Oh, I was looking so nice all day because I had to film uh, a video and I had to film some like Instagram reels and some stories and, and that whole thing. But I just threw my hair back. I put my bathing suit on. I'm going to hit the pool. I have not been able to hit the pool in a while. It has been extremely warm. It is the only way to actually spend time outside <laughs> here is to be in water. So I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know where Butters is. I think she may join me. She doesn't like to go in the water too much to like kind of go onto that first step and kind of like maybe sit down, but she doesn't actually like to swim, swim in the water. Anyway, I think she may join me, um, but just a quick puzzle update. So I broke down my sloth puzzle and I started my Batman puzzle and I have pretty much the edging done. Um, and I've started to kind of pull out uh, what I think will be an easy start, which is the lettering over here in the middle. So that's what I've been doing uh, the past couple of days, working and doing puzzles, basically keeping myself distracted. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hit the pool. I wanna try, oh, I need to get a can of seltzer because I have those Hello Kitty uh, floaties that holds drinks. Um, and I'm gonna use the Hello Kitty floaty. Can I also show you guys like what a ridiculous klutz I am? So I was trying to open a box without a box cutter like an idiot and 
it had that tape with the string in it and one of the strings went right through my nail and so it's like half of my nail I don't think I don't know I don't know what's going on under there I don't want to look I've kept a band-aid on it I took it off because it was getting really grubby and I thought I'm going in the pool anyway so whatever um, but I've been keeping a band-aid on it because just everything is getting caught in there and it's it's just making my like my teeth clench um but I just I hate when I do that I hate when I do that stuff to myself <laughs> can use the bow as a little headrest. <laughs> Very good design. Very good design. You want to come in, baby? Or are you just going to stalk me from the side? <laughs> Good morning. I had a lovely time in the pool yesterday. Um, and then afterwards, we just had some dinner. I can't even remember what we had for dinner last night. Anyway, must not have been that exciting. <laughs> but it's the next day now. And I actually got a call yesterday from the office of the chiropractor that I was planning on going to see later on this week regarding my vertigo. Um, they specialize in like upper cervical care, I guess. Um, anyway, and so they also specialize in vertigo and uh, dizziness and lightheadedness or whatever. So I had made an appointment with them. Anyway, they called me yesterday and they said that they had an opening today. So I am going. I'm actually going to be leaving in about 10 minutes. I am very excited. Um, they, of course, you know, they had this whole um, warning, I guess, uh, about how a lot of chiropractic work can, I guess, while you're working things out, it can get worse before it gets better. I'm really paraphrasing there, but it could get worse before it gets better. Um, so <laughs> hopefully it doesn't get too too much worse today. Um, but I am also hoping to hit Sephora afterwards uh, because I wanted to do a like Sephora haul, try, try on with me, because there are a few things, things that kind of surprised me that are really intriguing to me, like that new Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. That's pretty, I'm sorry, that looks really, really pretty. So I'm gonna be uh, hopefully picking that up. It looked like it was in stock online at the Sephora near me. And yeah, just kind of like shop around. So that's my plan for today. They told me to show up in very comfortable clothing. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of, almost like Thai, uh, like a Thai massage where <laughs> it's like passive yoga. They're just like m moving you around. So maybe it's gonna be like that, I don't really know. Um, but I also, um, I went to Orange Theory yesterday. Uh, did I mention that? I went to Orange Theory yesterday. Um, first thing in the morning, did like a great workout, and I hadn't been since before the vertigo set in. So it had been at least a week and a half, probably a couple weeks. And I woke up this morning and my lower back is so tight. It is, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't thrown it out. I'm not incapacitated, but there are, there are weird, I don't know, like if I do, basically if I make like a very strange, awkward motion or uh, yeah, like a move, um, it feels like something is like kind of scrunching down on the nerves right in my lower back. So maybe it's a good day to be going to a chiropractor or maybe it's a horrible day. Maybe I'm gonna be <laughs> completely thrown out. But um, that is what is going on too. I, I actually haven't had a back, back issue, um, which I've had in the past. Uh, in a while. So I was kind of disappointed, a little bit shocked, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I'm not completely incapacitated. I just feel like I have to be pretty, I can't make any sudden moves. I have to be pretty careful with uh, like twisting and like angles and stuff. Anyway, so that's my day. Um, I'm hoping to come back from Sephora and film that for tomorrow. Let's head on over to the chiropractor. Hey guys, I just got done uh, at the chiropractor's and uh, they did a whole you know, scan thing on me. Anyway, I got my first adjustment. So I'm not, I'm supposed to basically 
operate like a robot. I'm not supposed to move my head from like this position. And I have a follow-up uh, with him on Wednesday because he said 48 hours after is like really crucial. So I'm gonna go see them on Wednesday again. Of course, this is just as much as I can do. Um, but I just drove over here to Sephora. So we're gonna do a little stiff robot shopping at Sephora. <laughs> this will be really interesting. So I don't feel like that much different currently. I didn't get dizzy, so that's a really good sign. <laughs> I didn't get dizzy. Um, I do, it was strange. Um, I had to lay down for like 12 minutes after he adjusted me. And when I was laying down, just laying there, I felt fine. I didn't feel dizzy, which was my main concern. Um, but I don't know, I want to say like maybe halfway through, all of a sudden I can feel, like I thought my nasal passages were pretty clear, like, like I could breathe and it wasn't, nothing was stuffy or anything, but I could feel like my right nostril almost kind of like, like connect to my back throat, like all of a sudden something opened so that it was like this whole, like the whole thing like kind of opened up. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I still feel that, which is great. And then my, I just, I feel my ear. It doesn't feel bad, it doesn't feel stuffed, it doesn't feel tingly, like nothing. I just feel it. Is that weird? <laughs> like I just feel it, like it's very present right now, like my whole right ear. So, I don't know, off to Sephora. can hear me over the air conditioning <laughs> it's so hot in my car right now well I just got back in from Sephora they did not have the ABH palette which they said they had online so I don't know um, doesn't matter I picked up some other things I'll do a quick haul when I get home but by the time this goes up I will have already done at least that's the plan <laughs> I will have already done um, a try on haul with the stuff. So in case you missed it, I will link it down below in my description box. Um, so yeah, so no thoughts on any of it yet, obviously. Uh, but I have to get home because I'm starving. I am starving. I spent like three hours at the chiropractor um, and I was there right at around lunchtime. So it's well after lunchtime. I haven't eaten since like seven this morning. So yeah, I gotta get some food in me. Hello. So this is what I got at Sephora. Let me show you. I picked up the new Ilia C Beyond Triple Serum Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen. And I got it in the shade, well, Tone 1. There really aren't testers there. I just, whatever. Anyway, hopefully that'll work. And then I also picked up, let's see, the Say Glowy Super Gel. I am surprised I did not have this. You guys know how much I love Say and how much I love like cream products. So this is uh, like, a, like a fluid highlighter. And then I also picked up, very excited, two of the new Laura Mercier blush color infusions. These are, they're kind of like blushy highlights. Uh, so I wasn't sure which one to get. I got Peach Shimmer and All That Sparkles. They both looked, like too deep to be a highlighter and too light to be a blush. So I'm just curious about them. So I picked up these two shades. Um, I also picked up the uh, NARS Laguna Bronzer, the cream version in Laguna One. I just picked up the lightest shade. So hopefully that will work. And then, like I was saying, I went there for the ABH Nouveau palette. <laughs> they didn't have it in stock, which was such a bummer, but they did have the Dior Backstage um, in coral neutrals. This is like the newest one, I believe. I hope I picked up the right one. Anyway, I don't have this. So I thought I would get this. A few of you have asked me to like talk about this palette. Oh, I also picked up, I almost forgot, the Olaplex 
Number six, bond smoother. So I mentioned in my favorites video, I talked about like a, like a styling cream, like a texturizing cream kind of um, from Leonore Grail. Someone mentioned the Olaplex and Olaplex is a brand that I just, I don't know, I like kind of stayed away from. I figured it was just gonna make my hair flat. It always seemed like one of those brands for like color treated hair, if you've got really smooth, silky hair, which isn't necessarily my goal. I like, I like my hair to have a little bit of texture. So yeah, someone, someone mentioned this styling cream, the number six. So it is smoothing, but it is a leave-in reparative styling cream and it reduces frizz. I don't like frizz. I like a little texture, but I don't like frizz. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, so that is my little Sephora haul. So what I'm gonna do right now actually is change my top, I don't know, figure out something to do with my hair and actually film this try on haul, which again, you will have seen before this vlog. So I will link it either on the screen, down below or whatever. Hello, I just finished filming, editing, uploading. <laughs> so I am actually, um, gonna take my makeup off because it's actually getting kind of late in the day. I don't usually film, edit, and upload this late, but I just wanted to get this video out. And my husband, kind man, is making dinner for us. So I'm just gonna take off this makeup and uh, be ready to hit the sack as soon as I'm done eating dinner. Uh, but this was my Sephora try-on, and I really love, the eyeshadows coming across really orangey in the monitor. It's much more peachy, um, but I really, really like it. And I love these Laura Mercier blushes. They are awesome. And this Merit lipstick, you guys, why didn't anyone tell me about these lipsticks? They're so good. I love the formula. I love that they're lightly pigmented. Oh wait, did I forget to show you that I got the Merit lipstick? I think I did. I think it was like tucked away in the bag. But I picked up one of the Merit Signature lipsticks in the shade Slip. That's what I have on with a Natasha Denona lip liner. It's so good. I really, really love it. When I first saw them, I was like, okay, these look like, you know, pretty shades, but they just look like a cream lipstick. I didn't realize that they were like lightweight and kind of lightly pigmented. Not just a tint, like kind of between a tint and a full on lipstick. Just, yeah, just really pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna take it all off now <laughs> and then go down and have some dinner. So I'm just using my Gentle Eye and Lip Makeup Remover from Sicily. I'm almost done with this bottle. I'm like determined to go through or get through a lot of open skincare that I have because it's a ton. It is a ton. I have so much stuff. A lot of things, you know, have been put to the side because I'm testing things or whatever, but I really just wanna get through some of the skincare, especially before it goes bad. Like I've had this makeup remover for a while now, at least a couple of years. So I just wanna use it, use it up before it's a waste. And then I've been using my Augustinus Botter, the cleansing balm. This is a really nice balm. It's a little bit uh, of a softer texture versus, I'm trying to think, versus a balm like, um, oh, like the Clinique cleansing balm. You know how that one almost, there's like a little bit of firmness to it. Yeah, this one's a lot softer than that. It's almost like it's been broken up first, but it's really effective and it does leave my skin feeling really, really soft, which is nice. And I'm getting very, very low. <laughs> this Augustina's Botter jar. So I'm really excited about that. That's gonna be an empty really soon. And then I'm using my Suzanne Kaufman, the tonic, which is a really nice toner, really refreshing kind of feeling. It's been great in the summertime and it has the most amazing like light, light, light scent. It's really pretty. I'm gonna use my droplet. I'm still using the Tranexamic Eraser capsules, which is really evening out my skin tone. I feel like it's really brought down the redness. Usually I look without makeup on like a lot blotchier. It's really kind of even that out. Sometimes there's a little 
product leakage. You see that? I just take that face cloth that I just used and I just go into, I don't go like into the device, but I just wipe off like the exterior or whatever. Okay, now time for serum. I'm still using this Beauty Pie Youth Balm, which is very nice. And then the True Botanicals Pure Radiance Oil. And I think, was it yesterday morning? Yes, I think it was yesterday morning that I used that new May Lindstrom The Clean Dirt as an exfoliator. And yeah, I've been waiting, you know, just a couple of days here to see if my skin was gonna react or do anything strange. I don't think so. I think, I think actually my skin looks pretty great. <laughs> so I think tomorrow, I am going to use another one of her products, um, like the Youth Do, which is a serum. I think I'm gonna try that and see how my skin reacts to that. Um, but yeah, I think my skin reacted really, really well to that clean dirt. Oh, for moisturizer, I've been playing around with this Irene Forte um, Aloe Face Cream with Multi Oil Omega Complex. I hauled this for you guys many, many months ago. Um, and started finally using it. And it is really quite lovely, I have to say. It has a really lovely texture. Let me just pump some out so you can see. So it is like a rich lotion. I wouldn't go so far as to call it, well, maybe a cream. Yeah, maybe it would, maybe I would categorize it as a cream. But it's really, yeah, it's just very soothing and uh, it's very moisturizing. And for me, it's a little bit on the thinner side. You guys know I use very rich rich creams for my dry, sensitive skin. So this is like really quite nice considering how much lighter the texture is compared to, I'm trying to think, like my La Mer or even the Augustinus Botter. Um, this is lighter than that. Or my Retrouvé products, those are, well, those are a completely different consistency. So that's like comparing apples to oranges. But this has been really great in the summertime because, you know, I run kind of hot. So I've been really enjoying this. All right, I'm gonna change and then go down for some dinner. I'm starving, I'm starving again. Ooh, he's already grilled it up. It's resting. Ooh. Hi, Butters. You got your blue bolly? You wanna play bolly? Hi, cutie pie. still a robot. <laughs> One more day. I have my follow-up appointment with the chiropractor tomorrow, um, tomorrow midday. So yeah, he just wants to keep me as still as possible until then. I have definitely, I mean, I just slept and I have no idea where my head went then. So we'll see, but as much as possible. Um, but I am feeling fine. Like I have no, I thought for sure maybe you know how sometimes you have to like tear things apart before you make it better? And that was so the unsmooth way of saying that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like it has to get worse before it gets better. And um, so I thought, okay, I'm probably gonna get a little bit dizzy or I'm gonna feel some pain. Like in my jaw, I have, um, I grind my teeth. I have TMJ, really bad on this side, a little bit on this side. And so I thought, okay, like it's probably gonna be kind of messed up, but I actually feel better than I have, so that's good. You know, I'm not really expecting miracles or anything. I'm, I'm just seeing how treatment like this would work for me, right? We're just experimenting. So, uh, so, so far so good. Um, and I just got a call from California Closets. <laughs> this, is, this is becoming a very long and drawn out uh, custom closet build out situation. So I think the last update I gave you was well, that they weren't finished, that we were like 90% there, but they didn't have some very crucial pieces like doors <laughs> and drawers. Um, and that they were probably, like the estimated date of arrival for these pieces was like early-ish Ju July, like July 6th, I think, was one date that I was given, but nothing was set in stone. So anyway, I just got a call from them and they said uh, July 28th. So, <laughs> 
So we're not gonna be done until then, but it's down on the books. That's the date that they're coming. It'll be here before I know it. So anyway, I think I had told you in my last vlog to like keep an eye out for a closet vlog like mid-July. Well, it's gonna be more like early August. <laughs> so keep an eye out for it. It's coming still, I promise. And that's it. I am going to just film and edit today. <laughs> I really do sound like a robot. I am going to film and edit today. Like how many times have I said that in this vlog? So I'm gonna film and edit today and I think that's it. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I don't, I don't even remember what this vlog has contained, but hopefully it wasn't too boring <laughs> and I'll see you in my next one.